Uh, it's nice to speak with you today, PK, and today I'm looking forward to hearing your views on RFID and retail. Uh, can you start by providing a brief background of yourself? Sure. So my name is Stefan Piquet. I work for Motorola Solutions. I have the position of a director of the industry solution groups. Um, I'm working in RFID since over 20 years, going through different uh, different companies, different uh, uh, different industries, but always related to RFID. Um, and uh, I work uh, a lot with the European Commission, and we have a lot of uh, uh, RFID-related uh, customers uh, within Motorola. We have over 1,000 customers, and we have uh, a leading position in supplying uh, RFID hardware uh, in different industries around the world. Thank you. Can you talk about what is happening in RFID in the retail industry? Sure. So, um, you know, RFID has been investigated um, many, many, many years already uh, in the retail environment, and uh, what has been clearly seen is especially in the retail apparel business is that um, because it is a higher value item, uh, it makes a lot of sense to use RFID technology for uh, inventory purposes and for in-store operations. Uh, mainly, the major driver right here is uh, reducing the inventory time. Most of the retailers um, do as one or two times a year a full-time inventory of their store, um, and the cycle counts uh, are therefore not that often. And the time to take this inventory is uh, quite long. It could take perhaps one or two or even three days to do it, and they have to shut down the whole operation. Um, RFID gives them a clear, clear benefit um, in doing this inventory. Number one, they can do it more often. Um, customers start not to do it once a week or perhaps uh, every two weeks. Uh, this gives them better accuracy, better visibility of their stock. Number two, the whole process of taking inventory uh, is reduced significantly up to 95%. Um, and uh, so the time uh, which they have spent uh, to do the whole inventory uh, it can go down from some days into some hours. Uh, so it has a significant impact in doing that. So the technology allows them to do more often and faster inventory, and therefore having a better accuracy and a better visibility about the stock count. And therefore, their replenishment can be uh, more, uh, more correct and more efficient. And most of the, and the most important thing is that they can reduce the out-of-stock situation. We all know the situation where we go into a store and uh, those stores don't have our size, don't have our color, and so on and so on. And this is more due to uh, the uh, non-accurate stock situation of the retailers. So they are not aware that they are missing these pieces on the shop floor. And RFD can help to increase the customer uh, experience and then the satisfaction and also specifically increase the turnover of the specific retailers. We said it's an thing. I mean, we can uh, also add some other value into the store. Some customers thought that to do uh, intelligent changing rooms where, you know, you can use a specific item in changing room to get some more information about the item or also some recommendation about some um, uh, style, uh, stylish or complementary uh, accessories which uh, fit very well to the item you have in your hand. Um, so this could increase the customer experience as well. Uh, in addition to that, you could use RFID to um, start the process at the point of sale. Instead of just adding an item once a while, you can push uh, items in, uh, in the same second, in the same process. And um, last but not least, you can use RFID in the, at the EAS, so the, the article surveillance um, process, uh, because right now the article surveillance is based on the, on the one bit, meaning that those technology which is used can only say it has been stolen, it has been not been stolen, or it has been paid or not paid for. But RFID will allow them to clearly understand what has been stolen, because every item is uniquely identifiable. So retailers are saying, I accept that people are stealing something, but um, if, if they steal it, I want to know what, because this is missing them on my show floor. I want to be able to replenish it. 
So these are the most the, 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 the driving use cases in the retail environment where you know companies are starting to investigate and using RFID and by doing that this will then push also back into uh, the manufacturing and selection process because the attachment of the pad uh, should be at the source or as soon as possible so that everybody can have clear benefit from the project. And how did this trend or this change happen? So the change is happening now. The trend is uh, happening now. We have, I would say, over 30 percent of the brands in the U.S. and in, in, in Europe are seriously uh, investigating or already rolling out um, RFID. Uh, big, big brands, uh, which are known, uh, but also smaller companies are starting now to do uh, RFID because they see the clear benefit uh, from it. So it is reality now, um, and I think um, we uh, are benefiting a lot right now from the, from the push, and uh, we will have uh, the, uh, the, the effect of going to the supply chain and going to manufacturing will come in the coming, I would say, three to five years quite heavily as well. And do you have any final recommendations? Yeah, I can only recommend what our customers are saying. They are very happy, and you know, having a sales uplift or at least four of at least four percent gives a, a clear indication that every retailer should start, if they have not, should start really to investigate the technology to get the most benefit out of it because their their competition will be pretty good. And um, I can only recommend also the ones who start investigating that to create a big picture and also include their supplier and the whole supply chain to get the biggest benefit out of the technology. And thank you today for thank you for sharing your views today on RFID RFID in, in the retail industry.